Are they gone? Stay down, Eric.
Good to see you, Shaw. Today's the big day, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look so happy about it. You deserve it. We deserve it. Now we'd better go. The General's not the kind of man you want to keep waiting. There should be 5,000 troops here, not two. The recalls of our troops and equipment are bleeding us dry. Those fools in Europe would rather prepare to fight each other than the Martians. We will be enough. Do you really believe that, Theodore? I won't allow myself to believe anything else. I'm under pressure to come home. I don't know how long it is. Good morning, Captain. Lieutenant Carter. Hey, when this is over, maybe you and I could, uh... When hell freezes over. Well, I think there's a wee chill in the air. You don't know what you're missing, Jennifer, my darling. That's Lieutenant Carter, Corporal. Yes, sir. So I mean, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention, as you know, 15 years ago, the Martians launched their unprovoked attack against us. Over 140 million of us were murdered. And many of our great cities laid to waste until the invaders were beaten by the smallest of Earth's living creatures, the germ. From that destruction, we formed the Allied Resistance Earth Squadrons, Ares, from the best of our planet's armies to make sure that it never happened again. Professor Tesla, Ares' chief of science, and the man responsible for unlocking the secrets of Martian technology has made an alarming discovery. Professor Tesla. Good afternoon. Mars orbit is once again approaching a time of close proximity to Earth. I have detected large-scale fluctuations of magnetic energy from the Martian surface, along with a series of low-frequency radio signals. It is my belief that the signals are a Martian military code hidden within sunspot activity. That they and the magnetic energy coming from the planet's surface serve as a prelude to an invasion. An invasion? Ready? Let him come! How oh, soon? Weeks, days, hours. So you have no idea? I do. They will come when they are ready. And we are not. So we must get ready. Now. This is our new Achilles-class battle tripod. 65 feet tall. A heavy machine gun and six light rockets. Heat ray with an effective range of a thousand meters and an 88 millimeter cannon on full turret. Because of their outstanding performance in recent battle simulations, the honor of command of the first of these will go to Captain Eric Wells and his crew. Don't be shy, Captain. I give you Eric Wells from England. Lieutenant Jennifer Carter from the United States. Corporal Patrick O'Brien from Ireland. Sergeant Abraham Douglas from Canada. And Lieutenant Raja Iskandar Shah from Malaya. Have you thought of a name for her? The Goliath, sir. Ah, an excellent choice. Tomorrow. You will all be divided into two equal forces. To further our preparations for the coming conflict, we will stage a war game. Blue Team will be under the command of Captain Wells. Your force will consist of French, Italian, and Indian tripods. 
The red team of Korean, German, and Austrian tripods will be under the command of Captain Sakai. Nothing can prepare you for war itself. The sound, smell, fear. Death is ugly. All you can do is make sure it is your enemy that dies. So prepare yourselves. Know what you fight for, who you fight for. This time, we will be ready! Come. Good evening, sir. Sarge, you don't have to address me as sir. Cap or even Eric is fine. Sorry, sir. A bunch of us are going to the Green Man to let off a little steam. Thanks, but I, I have a few things I need to check over. I spoke to Lieutenant Carter. She asked if you were coming. She did? I guess one beer wouldn't hurt. Is it true your father owns a railroad? No. He owns two. So tell us, darling, it's a rich bird like you doing the Naris. I don't think it's any of your business, Corporal. Why don't you let the lieutenant tell me what is and isn't my business, Captain? Hey, it's okay. My father viewed me as his property. You know, to be what he wanted, to marry whom he wanted. I saw it differently. And I'm glad you did. This is sight of your brightens my day. Attention! Please, at ease, folks. Sit. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Tonight, I'm not the Secretary of War. I'm just an old soldier named Teddy who could use a drink with friends. Now, may I join you? Of course, sir. I'll get us another round. Thank you, Captain, but I'll pass. Told Tessa and the girls that I'd be home early. Now, my best to the family, Abe. Thank you, sir. This business in Europe is no good. The Balkans are about to go to hell. Countries mobilizing against each other. Unless we're united, mankind is done for. Humanity will rise to the occasion. You think so? It is my hope and my prayer. If it is our destiny, only God knows. Wisely said, sir. <laughs> Tell me, O'Brien, does it bother you to serve under an Englishman? I am an Ulsterman from the North. My loyalties are to the Crown. Oh, really? I heard your brother was IRA. My brother's his own man, Mr. Secretary. As am I. I'm not seeing him for three years. Besides, he's harmless. He'd walk over ten naked women to get to a point. <laughs> If you'll excuse me. Of course. Nice night. Mind telling me what kind of mood he's in? Here you go, boyos. With this, we can blow all Downing Street to hell. <laughs> you shoot me, brother, and there'll be hell to pay with Ma. If it ain't the hero of Ares. Get out the whiskey, Liam. To me baby brother. It will help us hijack enough heat rays tonight to blast the bloody English out of Ireland. Once and for all. Slanjava! Maybe we could even get our mitts on one of them new battle tripods. Okay, Bucko. When and where? Look, Sean, there's been a complication. Don't be playing with your older brother now, Paddy. We've been called out for war games. The whole base is on alert. When then? Tomorrow? The day after? I... I'll let you know. 
I have to get back. You're not going yellow on us now, are you, Paddy? Shut your gob, O'Rourke. My brother's no coward. I just need time. Europe's about to explode and take England with it. We either make our move when it does, or we'll never be free. I know that. Know this too, boyo. You took the oath. You break it, brother or no, I'll kill you dead. To the crew of the Goliath, the best of the best. <sighs> I'd rather drink piss than drink to them. Excuse me. Did you just say something? He is drunk. Ignore him. I said I'd rather drink piss than drink to them. Simulations and games mean nothing. And don't think that farting match with Spain and Cuba was a war. If Germany was involved, we would have ended it in a week. Everyone knows that the Germans are the best soldiers in the world! And after we kick Europe's ass, oh, we'll come for you in America, Teddy. I said we'll come for you. Well then, why don't we start now? How was that bit of simulation, old boy? Ow. Today, at 11 a.m. in Sarajevo, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated. What does this mean? There will be war! When you return to Ares, you will find cables from your homelands recalling you to service in your national armies. This cannot be! What about the Martians? They will just have fewer of us to kill. What can we do? It is our duty! We must leave! No! What did you say? I said... No! We're not just... French... or German or Japanese. We are... Ares. We are human. I have seen... what the Martians will do. They will murder our brothers, our wives, our children. And if you are lucky enough to survive, you will spend the rest of your miserable lives running like hunted animals. Always knowing that because of your cowardice in this moment, everything you loved was dead. We will be traitors to our homeland. It is they who are the traitors. Those pompous, arrogant fools who call you to their war. They say they fight for their honor when it is only for their greed and their vanity. We must remain together. We must fight as one. I ask you, I beg you, who will fight with me? Who will live and die? My brother. I will. Deutschland can kiss my ass. As will I. Ares! 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 Ares!
had to be you. Just checking on a few things. Hmm, for what, the tenth time? Seventh, but who's counting? It'll be fine. I know. No, you don't, but you should. You were the best captain in training. Training is not reality. When my parents were killed, I froze. You were ten years old. Right. Uh, if you don't mind? Sure. Oh, um, that guy tonight? The one who spoke and kept all of Ares from running home? That man, he wouldn't freeze in battle. Pods are loaded and secure, General. All gangways retracted. Open the canopy. Release dies. Knots, north, northeast. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Captain Sakai, your red forces will mass 20 miles north of Ellenville. Captain Wells, your blues will be 20 miles to the south. Your goal is simple. Destroy the force facing you. All heat rays will be set on only enough power to mark your enemy. This won't be war, but it's as close as we can get. Looks like there's a river about 12 miles east. We'll split the team a mile wide and wait. When they hit the middle of the river, we'll open up. I know Captain Sakai. The man is a samurai. You will attack full force in the center of our line. Scouts one through five, I want you a thousand yards to point. Scouts six and seven, right. Eight through ten, left. No one gets on our flanks without us knowing. If you see the enemy, you are to report back. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. I want them coming to us, not digging in. distorting all communications between the Leviathan and the blue and red teams. I don't like it. Get me Professor Tesla. Sorry, sir. The storm. I don't like it at all.
All right, men, we wait. If Shah's right, Sakai should be arriving in 20 minutes. wrong here, Captain. Sakai must have forgotten to lower his power levels. That wasn't Sakai. Martians. Hendrix. Hendrix! Hendrix is dead! What the hell's going on out there? Sir. Captain. Your orders. Incoming! Now! Captain Wells! Eric, move! Get a message to the Leviathan that we are under attack. Blue team, this is not a drill. Full power to heat rays. Replace paint with live armament and fire at will. Ready when you are, Eric. Let's blow these monsters to hell. Come on, boys, pour it on. Engaging. Keep firing. Yes, sir. on your victory, Captain. We have 57 dead, 17 injured. We lost six scouts and four Spartans, six Achilles. You'll excuse me, sir, if I don't think of it as a victory. Was the enemy destroyed? Yes, sir. Then it was a victory, Captain. The aliens are bigger, stronger, and faster than they were. It's not supposed to be easy. Why didn't they land in force? It was a probe to test our capabilities. Now, 
they know what they are fighting. Sir, we've just gotten word of landings throughout Europe and Asia, but the Martians seem to be concentrating their forces in North America. Where? Montreal, New Orleans, the largest is in New Mexico. Our bases in Europe and Asia will respond. Take us back to Ares. I want a full mobilization. All leaves are cancelled. All troops are to report to their units. Strike forces will be armed, outfitted, and ready to leave in three hours. Gentlemen, I believe their little European war has just been cancelled. Are we ready, sir? We'd better be. your brother has turned, Sean. He'll be here. what I tell you? Where are they? The Martians are back. I didn't ask you about the Martians, brother. I asked you about the heat rays. We're at war, Sean. Yeah, with the English. I have no weapons for you. You're some kind of piss, Paddy. Don't you get it, bucko? We'd all rather be dead at the hands of the Martians and live under English tyranny. You've betrayed us. I've betrayed nobody. Sean, this is bigger than just Ireland. Goodbye, Sean. Tell him I loved her. Go on! Shoot the bloody traitor! Damn, if you're going to be a woman about it... Put him in the truck. Patrick, you're dead to me. Get those storm crows in the air now. I want 24 hour air cover. Let's go! I want the battle cruisers repulsing Bismarck to support New Orleans. I want the Atlas rolling at flank speed to Montreal with the Agamemnon. The Minotaur will follow us. Anything we can do? We'll be in New Mexico at dawn. Until then, you can rest and you can pray. This day would come. I thought the bacteria would keep us safe. Well, looks like the ugly buggers developed an immunity. Godspeed, men, and give them hell. fit for battle. Would I be coming down now if you weren't, sir? No, of course you wouldn't. Please, accept my apology. Why don't you hate the British? From what I hear, your people were living in palaces when the Brits were in caves. Now you're a colony. They own your asses and treat you like you were savages. As Shakespeare said, there is no darkness but ignorance. Shakespeare. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? Oxford. I did a wog. No offense. Get to Oxford. I used to be a prince. My family disowned me for joining Ares. I know how that feels. My brother wanted you to steal weapons for the Fenians to use against the British. You knew? I saw you leave the bar the other night and guess the rest. You didn't report me? No. I trusted you. 
And then I checked the inventory to see if any weapons were missing. You did the right thing, Patrick. Parfait? Thanks. What are you smiling about? Tomorrow? You actually look forward to battle. A 400 knot dive out of the sun? Guns blazing at the enemy? <laughs> For me, it is better than schnapps. <laughs> You're a little crazy, Manfred. <laughs> I think I have to be. I wish I were more like you, my friend. We are not so different. Except I carry only my own life in my plane. You, you carry the lives of your crew. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, we find our destiny, yeah? Contact. Nine Martian aircraft bearing 60 degrees north by northwest, 125 miles out and closing. Battle stations. Launch all fighters. Nothing gets through us. Remember, your heat rays will need a three-minute recharge after firing, so rely on your rockets and machine guns. Good hunting.
on, come on, charge! We lost three Valkyries and seven Stormcrawls. Seven Martian craft are confirmed down. The last two broke off their attack and ran home. They're faster than we are, but we turned quicker. Sir, just got word of 15 tripods supported by a dozen Martian wings driving towards Albuquerque. Move to intercept. I want scouts to drop down behind them to monitor their approach. You can grieve for your dead later. We'll need you in the air. Gentlemen, we will place our heaviest tripods in a line below that low ridge. The rest will deploy with all ground troops and the militia here on both sides of the canyon. The Leviathan will take up stations in the clouds above us. With any luck, we will catch the invaders in a killing box. General, better warn 15. There were only 12. Those three tripods are somewhere. If they outflank us, take the Beowulf and three scouts. Find them. Yes, sir. And get this man to a doctor. Look sharp, they must be close. I think dividing our forces was a dumb idea. I don't remember anybody caring what you thought, O'Brien. Those creatures could be anywhere. Always move in threes.
Weapon systems report. The heat ray's gone to hell. We're blind. I've got no power here, Captain. Hey, status report. I've got no movement and no shot. Maybe we'll get lucky. Thing is on the move! Hey, can you sight on him? I've got a shot. Take it. You got him! All dead, Captain. They were good men. It's just a scratch. I'm okay. We've got to move out. We should bury the Baywalk's crew. There is no time. If we stay with the Goliath, we have a better chance of being found. Our mission is to find those remaining tripods. That is what I intend to do. On foot? No, thanks. I didn't join Ares to be in the bloody infantry. You either follow orders. Or what? You're gonna shoot me? Yes. I think it's dead. Yeah, I just like to see him bleed. <laughs> if there are any more around, they'll hear you. Thank you. Your squad saved us. Ain't no more squad. Except me. Hope your sorry asses were worth it. Where are you going? To kill me some more tripods. You know where they are? Hell, I know where them bastards live. After they burn out Espinola and blowed up my wife, I, I joined that militia. And they thought they got my Lucy. No, 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 no. I fooled them good. Uh, how'd you do that? Huh? I found a piece of her. I see. You see what's leading us? The man's out of his bleeding mind. He's keeping his dead wife's finger around his neck. You ever in love, O'Brien? Dozens of times. Anyone ever tell you you don't know shit? What did I say? Abe wasn't talking about lust. He was talking about love. Huh? Well, what's the difference? It's the other tripod. Looks like it's guarding some sort of power plant. You're thinking of Storm in the castle, Captain? We want Heat Ray and the Pea Shooter. They're here for a reason. We need to get inside. Are you nuts? Sir, how the hell are we going to do that? Well, my guess is you're going to be needing a distraction. We'll find another way. <laughs> Lucy and me both know there is no other way. Hmm. What's that? Lucy says it was good meeting you. Even if you are a damn limey. <laughs> Now what? We wait for his signal. The emergency transponder. The Martians seem to know when we're coming. I'm changing the frequency. Hopefully, they won't be monitoring them. And hopefully, the Leviathan will. Okay, you slimy sons of bitches! Here I come! <laughs> One crazy cowboy.
place. Tell me about it. You, Jennifer, and Abe followed that thing. See if you can help that woman. You have the satchel charge? That I do. Take care of yourself. You too. You two have something going. It's none of your business. Just trying to make conversation. Cages first. You pitch, I'll catch. What the hell is that? No idea, but it can't be good. It's just great. We've built our power plants based on their technologies. Now they move right in and make anything they want. One satchel charge in this place is not going to mean much. It will if it blows in their control room. Hurry! Toilet on a Sunday morning. Probably say the same about us. Come on. such an ass. You're an Irishman. You can't help yourself. Just kidding. I didn't know the English had a sense of humor. By the way, I think the Irish should have self-rule. Why didn't you ever tell me? You never asked. If I can get close enough, I love the satchel inside. It's too open. You'll be seen. It's oil. And that's propane. Set the charge here with a five-minute fuse. Done. Five it is. Let's go find the others. I can't! Don't look down. Just watch my eyes. Honey, I haven't dropped anybody yet. I'll count to three. One, two... Abe, behind you! Hey! Tall, dark, and ugly. Jennifer! It's not charged! I'll be right back. Are 
Are you okay? Come on, honey. I got you. You can jump now. Come on. <gasps> Hold tight, darling. Kid, you did it! <clears throat> Kid? I mean, you did it, sir. Oh, now we're well and truly cooked. It's an honor to die with you, sir. for New York. Maximum speed. Yes, sir. Sir, you wanted to see me. Your team performed remarkably well against incredible odds. I congratulate you. There will be the appropriate medals. Thank you, sir. I heard the battle for Albuquerque went well. We lost 40% of our men, 30% of our aircraft, and half of our tripods. Whenever someone asks me if I believe in heaven and hell, I tell them I don't know about heaven, but on hell, I'm an expert. How's your crew? Bruised and battered. A few days R&R &R and they and the Goliath will be fine. I wish I could give it to you. But we won, sir. Montreal, New Orleans, New Mexico were distractions. Feints to lure the majority of our forces out of New York. They've surrounded Manhattan. We've won nothing. Prepare your crew, Captain. We will meet our enemy in 15 hours. Dismissed. to New York. I'm going to drink five beers and make love with three women. No, make that uh, three beers and five women. <laughs> Me? I just want to hold my girls. How got the repairs? Fine. A few days and the Goliath will be as good as new. You've got 15 hours. They hit New York. Sir? I'm sorry. My girls. You got a minute, Captain? Sure. You saved us all today. I was just putting one foot in front of the other. I got lucky. Luck had nothing to do with it. You must be worried about your family. I, I am. Um, my father and I, we're not very close, but... 
I'm sure he would have been very proud of you today. Thanks. Look, I I've been thinking. This is not easy. Sometimes it's just best to say it. Okay. Here it goes. All this, uh, it makes me realize what's important. It separates the things you really want from the things you only think you want. And? I really want you. What? You heard me. You hear something? <laughs> nope. Not a thing. Unknown, sir. The Martians are jamming up all radio frequencies. All cable and telegraph lines have been cut. We're in the dark, Mr. Secretary. The aliens have landed cylinders near major cities. The invaders staged multiple landings around Manhattan and Central Park itself. We've lost all contact with areas of militia forces in the Washington Square area, sir. Well, that's it then, General. Pull back all remaining ground forces to base. Understood, Mr. Secretary. Lieutenant, order all troops to return to base. It looks like we're what they wanted all along. The landings up north and out west were feints to drain our strength. Kill the head and the body dies. Seal up the base. Prepare for the assault. Sir, there's a speedboat waiting to take you to safety. If you hurry, you can make it. No offense, Colonel, but I'm in no mood for a boat ride. I understand, sir. Your orders. Die well. Good shooting, sir. <laughs> you think I was just a pretty face?
Yes. Fire at will. Taking the base, General. They're retreating uptown. Excellent, Mr. Secretary. Drive them towards us, and we'll crush them in the middle. Captain Wells! Mr. Secretary. By God, we did it, Captain. <laughs> we beat the bloody monsters! We took back the city! Victory! 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 magnetic signature seven miles south by southeast of our current position. Sir, there's something emerging from the bay.
heaven's name, it isn't over. under attack by an enemy airship. Inform the captain of the Agamemnon and take us up to 3,000 feet. Full power to all engines. Deploy primary weapon. We are going to stop them. If you want to draw the beast's attention, you must first bloody its nose. Fire! Hit them again! feet now. Lieutenant Richthofen, your weapons will be useless against their armor. Get your fighters out of here. We must get close to the enemy. Helsman, maintain speed. Steady as she goes.
The Leviathan is down. They died for us. Just some work and you can My friends, today we have won the battle, but not the war. Many of our brothers and sisters around the globe, and we, in our humanity, are all brothers and sisters, are fighting and dying at this moment. But I swear to you, in the names of our hallowed dead, that we will never forget our mission. We will drive these monsters from our Earth, from our home, and one day, take the war to them. Mars! Do you hear us? Mankind is coming, and Ares will lead the way. Yeah!